All right, today, just a quick overview on where things stand with Google Things To Do. So it's been about two and a half years now since Google Things To Do launched. It's changing very rapidly over time. It's quite difficult to keep track of, but that's what we do here at Magpie. So today I'm going to go through the surfaces or some of the surfaces where your products should be listed right now. So just to give you an idea of where the program is, I've taken the y-axis off here, but this is showing maps. Uh, traffic and general search results traffic. So this spike on the right was Christmas, which is a busy period. And you can see the traffic even in January now is up to about the same level as last summer. And a year ago, it was it was nowhere near. So the traffic is increasing rapidly. The surfaces are increasing on these products. And more and more businesses are becoming eligible to participate in Google things to do. They just widened the categories a lot the last few months. So where are your listings showing up? The six surfaces I'm gonna to cover today. Uh, first one is, it's now called Google Travel Campaigns. It's, it's Google Ads, it's part of Google Ads. And this will generally show up at the top of most key searches. So things to do in or San Francisco bus tours, or New York bike tours, or Paris food tours. Those kind of things will usually trigger this top section here, which is a carousel of ads. So first you set up your product with your partner, and then you attach that to your Google Ads account, and your ads will show up here. And you pay per click, you just have to set your ROAS, so your return on ad spend, and your ads, ads will show up there. So most people should be doing ads right now that's dominated today by OTAs. Section two, activities and tours carousel. This came out last year. This is often, well, sometimes this is at the top on those key searches. This was the search for London bus tours. Often this is right below the map as well, but it shows up in various places. It's also a carousel and it shows between 10 to 20 products usually if you scroll over to the right. And most people should be getting their products into this section. It's definitely it's a ways to optimize your products to get them in here. You have to have, or you we definitely recommend that you have reviews on your product pages to get into this section. Also things you can do with keywords. But this is a major source of traffic. When you click on those, they will bring up what looks like a product page. And then like all of these products, once you click through, they will go through to your website directly where you do the transaction directly. Third point of interest, this is where Google started with the program. So there's two types of this. One is for experienced operators. So if you do tours to Chichen Itza, you can have your products showing up right below the Chichen Itza search results. And that's for all tour companies and experienced operators. And then if you are the attraction, so if you are Chichen Itza or if you are 360 Chicago, you get this admissions module. And if you set this up properly, you can have multiple options on there. Right now, the the um, official site, the actual attraction itself, will show up at the top. And then the resellers of those tickets will show up below. Today, they're sorted by price, so the least expensive at the top. Number five, operator booking module. This is on the right-hand side of the page on desktop, part of your Google business profile. So every operator now can have products showing up as part of their booking profile. You will have your own website show up at the top if you set it up correctly, if you set it up in the correct language as well. If, if your language is not there or if you haven't got this set up and you're available on OTAs, they will be taking your top spots. So you get up to 10 products and you'll move the OTAs down if you set that up properly. And then the last section, which is the newest, which we just saw, we don't even know what to call it yet. We're calling it the category module. So again, things to do in New York, right below the map this was, you'll get these, these categories pop up, helicopter tours, and then you'll scroll down and you'll see the things to do cards on there. And those are just regular things to do products which have been fed through. So that's one of the latest to pop up. We think this will become an increasing place to get your products. Uh, the, the categories are set up now per city. So each city's got different categories, obviously helicopter tours, picnics seems to be a big thing in New York, but each city will have their own set of categories. That's the latest, just to let you know what a, um, what a typical product page looks like today. We're so far from the 10 blue links. 
especially on mobile, these things pop up first. So if you just do a standard, very common search, like things to do in New York, all of this pink section here, this is one search result. I've just put it onto one slide. All of this pink section is things to do. So you've got the ads carousel on the left here. The map now shows up, but without the local businesses, because below the map are now are points of interest. And if you click into these, these are admission sections. Below that, these are the categories I just talked about. If you click into those, I'll get a list of helicopter tours. Below that, the same for museums, outdoor attractions, historical places, beaches, and markets. And then below that is the first organic listing. So you can see TripAdvisor doesn't show up till the end of page three. Often in here, you'll also get a sprinkling of regular Google ads. So those organic listings are now so far down. If you're not participating in Google Things to Do, you're losing share. You can do some of these surfaces directly in Google Business Profile. Um, none of these here, but on your Google Business Profile um, booking options, you can put your products down there. You can also set up some of these through your ResTech. Some are fine. Some have got problems. And Magpie, if you don't know, is also a connected partner, and we can get you set up on all of these surfaces. So pre please reach out to us. If you're not set up or if you need help optimizing these, uh, you can find me on LinkedIn. I'll put a link to the blog post below, and we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for listening.